it it's very curious we no no one was everyone was very careful not to touch anything except for that Tristan fellow um something and you say he was rifling through the books yes yes terribly uncouth if you ask me he was and I gesture over to the the bookcase mm-hmm. yes right over here mm-hmm. here some things r- rifling through uh just pulling them open shutting them then there was a bit of I don't know exactly what happened some sort of uh spat between him and the priest um over his, the priest claimed he had stolen something from him um and the Tristan uh, he seemed reasonably, uh, he, he, he said he had brought it to here, and I, I believe the man. He seemed, he, he was quite con- convincing in, in, in his arguments as, as to why he would carry, uh, what, what was this that, that he has stolen from the priest? Shade. Oh, well, I don't think he stole it from the priest. It no, was no, a what, small what, scrap what of paper about? with some writing on it. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is the yes, more of the... What's really? Here? This is quite interesting. I suppose when Father Gregory arrives, we'll have to ask about this. This this, this was not. Yes, yes. I I I did not understand too much what why they were having such a fight or or where, but but the priest was adamant that it had been stolen. And Tristan was adamant that it was his all along, and. <laughs> They almost fell to blows, I, I assure so, you, right there. It's interesting you bring this up right now. Do, do you recall the other individuals that were here to witness this event with you? We've yes, been comparing let's see. the names on the guest list, and there's someone we can't find. Let's see. There was uh, Tristan. Yes, yes. Um, because there were eight of you, we thought. Yes, so I start going down the names, and then, of course, I reach... Well, I didn't tell any of you, my Yes. Yeah, no one knew, no one knew. No one knew his saying, name. Except Dan. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't you actually know catch his name, which is very yeah. curious, because I, I suppose it was the nerves of, of the moment. We began to talk about trivial things after the, uh, the, the shock of the murder. I, I never caught his name. Would you be willing to provide a description? Yes, of course. Yes, uh, I was talking right to him. Yes. Oh, and excellent. Because uh, sadly, Mr. Oakenforth, and he, he gives kind of like an embarrassed and yet kind of unhappy look. He's like, Mr. Oakenforth couldn't quite come up with a facial description. Ah, Apparently well, he didn't pay too much it, attention. It was a long party, and and uh, m- many many folk were drinking. I I don't partake myself, so I have a oh, picture no, of no, perfect no, no. memory. You're drinking right now. I, I'm not actually. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I have poured it and I was holding it. Yeah, yes. you can hold it and smell it for hours. <laughs> yes, wow, yes. Yeah. Make elaborate mm. gestures. It's, yes, it's, yeah. it's very it, it important very for good, the image. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh. That's also the other thing. If you have a drink in your hand, no one will offer you another yeah. drink. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. You just hold it. So and you don't need it. to turn it down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there's there's all this conversation going on and things like that, and there's actually a good couple of hours before like <laughs> wow. anything else happens like at some point they run out of questions to ask and nice. it turns out that it just becomes this kind of uncomfortable chit chat about like life and during the random chit chat well okay if, if it ever starts to like edge towards that I, I immediately try and strike up a conversation with uh, Mr. Oakenforth about what he used to be occupied so with. It, it doesn't take long for it to get there because number one it's just the three of you in the room. Yeah. Uh, so it's really awkward to exclude uh-huh. one person during conversation. Uh, Mr. Oakenforth turns out to the, he's a Londoner, actually. And Ooh. it turns out that he's in the import-export business and was actually one of the people that helped to fund the expedition to bring these artifacts back. Fast. And he's always been deeply fascinated by Egyptology and Sinology and things like that. And he's made quite a fortune in his shipping business over the years. And so he's been doing a lot of like this sort of thing since the war. And there's peace in the world now that he basically goes and 
collects art and great valuable treasures from around the world. And when he hears of other people of like mine, he tries to get in on some of the action. And so he's basically semi-retired now, and he's mm -hmm. only in Cardiff because of this event. And he'll be returning to London in a few weeks, uh, if unless something keeps him here. Yes, of course. Okay. Well, we small talk, and I, I am more. A Alexander is more interested in the business side, but he tries to hide that by being interested in the the various things that. Uh, the, the 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 sinology and stuff that uh excellent mr oaken for well it's just as that part of the conversation is going on father gregory is ushered in having returned oh, from yes. uh the telegraphist it's so good that you've called me um inspector and i lay down my tools and i start pulling them out <laughs> one by one it's very no, important no, that we get to work as soon as possible we won't be requiring that as of yet we actually had some interesting information come forward this morning that we'd like to ask you about. Shame. Apparently you had an altercation with a young fellow who had stolen something from you last night. He didn't steal something from me, he stole something from Tristan. Or he... No. Arthur. Let me, let me, let me, uh, correct myself. Uh, a, a gentleman. I, d I didn't catch his name. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it was, everyone was quite a fright and uh, there wasn't a time to exchange pleasantries. Of course. Uh, accused Tristan of, uh, him having stolen, a uh, something. And what so... What was this something? It was a piece of paper. Interesting. You know, it's quite fascinating that everyone seems to be very, uh, not forthcoming about this piece of paper. I always seem to find myself having to ask for confirmation before anyone is willing to reveal what this item was. What was on this piece of paper that was so important? It was a scrap that had hieroglyphics on it. I asked, really? um, I asked Tristan if it was indeed his, and he said it was. And let me tell you, uh, being of the cloth, I hear many confessions, and sometimes... Um, men and women don't want to say truly what things are. You have to coax it out of them. I believe he was telling the truth that it was indeed his. And Tristan's, that, you mean? Yes. Interesting. And that uh, <clears throat> the gentleman who was accosting him was mistaken for trying to steal it and give it to the rightful owner. Oh, shit. Interesting. Yes. You see, in my business, we deal similarly with people who do not tell the truth. As it were. And Shaped. isn't it rather unusual in your mind that at an exhibition of Egyptian antiquities that a scrap of paper with Egyptian hieroglyphs on it would become the subject of an accusation of theft? Um, well, I mean, it's understandable. I mean, perhaps this young gentleman was worried about maybe uh, this piece of paper being ripped off from an exhibit down below. But he hmm. said it was passed down to him from his father. Oh. Um, some family thing, very precious to him. And I believed him. I mean, think of it this way. Do you really think a, a gentleman could walk up to one of the priceless artifacts downstairs and manage to rip off a piece without anyone noticing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You may, you no, none of us are here. Exactly. But we're all <laughs> saying, yeah, you, saying, yeah. you do make a strong point. Um, <laughs> however, I do have one more question about that. It, you mentioned it was an ancient heirloom passed down from his father. Um, you, you're a man of the cloth. Yeah. You have such valuable ancient items in your coffers there at the Vatican, do you not? Uh, yes, we do. Do your priests typically carry them about in their pockets? No, but I don't believe he was a priest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and therefore, he could be anything. I mean, I'm not going to rationalize he someone was a else's demon. actions. <laughs> it's probably not the best place to put a priceless piece of paper, but... Captain Llewellyn feels like you just insulted him. He's not sure he's going to do it on purpose. But you can definitely see that there's a moment where he thinks... This guy is trying to get one up on me. <laughs> <laughs> he just writes down like this fucking guy. <laughs> That's right. You but, get one X next to your name. By the way, I, I introduced myself to you. Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I, I, I no. was introduced to... Uh, oh God, I'm going to butcher your name. Um, it's all right, I can't pronounce Bert Bertrand. Bertrand. And I was also introduced Bertrand. to Chester. Yes. Um, I don't think me and Alexander had a moment to introduce ourselves. And I, of course, knew Azil from her ridiculous showings. No, I was introduced to you by the madam. Oh, that's right. Remember, you're correct. <coughs> Remember it. Ridiculous. Introduced. Halfway through your insult of the police work that's being done in this town. Uh, well, I, of course, think this is silly because it was a witch. <laughs> it was obviously a demon. A yeah. witch or a demon? <laughs> One or the other. Could be both. It could yeah. be both. It could be a demon witch. You, Demons you, usually you work You have witches. a strong suspicion that uh, Captain Llewellyn is of Church of England. And, uh, oh, did he already just kind of hate you right off? Well, it wasn't that Very clear, but the suspicious. whole... But he is not a priest thing really just kind of like confirmed that he's, he's not he's not one of the he doesn't give you the deference that you, you're you used to receiving from people who are Catholic because mm-hmm. Catholics when they see priests they have that whole like deer in the headlights thing it's like oh my gosh there's a priest yeah, it's like, he's gonna judge me yeah. anyway so Chester arrives uh, <laughs> almost immediately after the insulting moment yep uh, uh, I'm <laughs> carrying the suit that I borrowed last night <laughs> oh <laughs> in my arm okay <laughs> And, and uh, uh, yeah, I figure this is, an, this is an excellent time to return it, which I never got the chance to last night. Yes. Do you return it before you come up, or yeah, I just hand it off to one of the servants and and go about my. Oh, okay, so you're not carrying it when you enter the room. Yeah. Okay. That face. Wow, uh, that's, and, that's impressive because and, uh, I did not think they would ever see that suit again. <laughs> And, uh, they didn't know it was missing. <laughs> they didn't care. Hey, you're not here. <laughs> oh my god. They definitely know it was missing now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And uh, <laughs> as soon as I see Captain the Wall, and I actually freeze and do a little bit of a deer in the headlights thing, because he was in charge, or he was uh, part of the unit that brought me in after that unsuccessful strike that the police. Oh. Broke. He might not remember me, but I remember him. Okay, he does not remember. Okay. Uh, you you were just one of many administrative types that were like, oh, what's going on here? Useless communist, probably just... And he sees you and goes, oh, sir! Uh, and he looks in his book, is like, uh, Mr. Aylesborn, correct? Right. Yes, interesting. So I was just having a conversation with your friends here about what was going on last night, and was trying to get a collaboration of the timeline so we would have an understanding of what had actually transpired. In fact, I was just getting some very good information from Father Gregory here, and, well, before I muddy the waters, perhaps you might want to give us your narrative so that we can compare stories. Uh, and and it goes without saying, if, if I could have you not uh, lead the witness, as it were, while he's course. giving his, his narrative. Wouldn't dare. So, I uh, had a bit to drink last night, so, like, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. Understandable. You're, you're not the first who have mentioned that that might be a, a reason for some confusion about okay. the details. So, so as I recall, we were outside wandering around looking at the, the Egyptian stuff, and there's this terrible commotion up at the house, um, and we all run up there, and, and the, uh, the daughter of the dowager is totally distraught. She's found her mother... That, that was her daughter, right? No, it was her, uh, her, her, uh, handmaiden. Oh, geez, I'm terribly sorry. I just, these relationships. Wait, hand, oh, okay, yeah, the handmaiden. The, the handmaiden's, girl. okay, the servant found her. Okay. Um, so the servant found her and, uh, found her dead. So we, you know, flooded the house, you know, all the, the able bodied strong men, uh, went to go look for her and find her. Uh, and the, Eight of us ended up in this room together with her it corpse. Was strong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she was totally desiccated. Like she, uh, I think the there was a doctor there, like a, some. I couldn't quite figure out if he was French or American, uh, but he said it was like they had been or she had been like out in the desert for weeks, uh, and. You you don't recall where this Frenchman said he was staying. Do oh, you? geez, did he mention it? Did he mention it? Did you mention it? No, no, no one seems to recall. We've been it. we've been going to the various so hotels. The, the only thing that I mentioned was that I was an art enthusiast and that I wanted to visit the church on Sunday. That's all I mentioned. Okay. 
Yeah, we've been trying to track him down, but... Uh, so these he, are the only two that I had contact with where I stated my name and, like, uh, a bit of myself. So. Okay. Yeah, I have the foggiest. Okay, that that's fine. We, we'll track him down eventually. They're... The, the 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 Frenchies are not that hard to, to distinguish. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, well, he might be American. Oh well, he certainly sounded French, according to the other witnesses. So, <laughs> if, well, if he were American, he's definitely hiding it quite well. Okay. So so we found her. She was totally desiccated. Um, me and Alexander, you know, got our nerd on and and tried to figure out how you how you might accomplish such a thing but we couldn't come up with a good way to do it mm-hmm. um certainly not in an hour or in you know the space constraints unless there's a hidden basement or something hmm. um and why you would go to such ends i can't imagine uh but there was there was man as i remember it there was a bit of commotion around uh uh like a satchel of herbs that was she was sitting on or something Really? Yeah, and uh, Father Lawrence here was really interested in it. When you say a commotion, was there some disagreement about ownership? <laughs> well, well, I don't think anybody claimed to own the satchel of herbs. <laughs> really? Okay. But it was please, please go so, on. So, Tristan, sort of a handsy fellow, if you ask me, but uh, he was he was nosing about and and found it on her or under her or something. And oh wait! All... So this item was found on the body. Yeah. Interesting. Under. Uh, maybe under the body. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, and then we we all gasped, and he put it back. And then Father, you ended up with it, didn't you? I didn't touch the herb pouch. Oh well, where did it end up? Is it you... is it sitting out somewhere? You grabbed. It. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell them that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, if, if I may interject, it almost did lead, but there was a commotion, and I think it just ended up off of the body, and no one knew how. Hmm. Well, so you're I would think someone so removed what? evidence. Well, didn't I mean it, it ended up sitting on that little table there, didn't it? Uh, yes, I believe so. So, where is it now? Did you? The coroner did not find any such object when the body was removed. Well, geez. I don't know what to say. So you're saying one of you took it? Somebody must have. I I am so sorry, Inspector. I I completely forgot about that small detail. Uh, to tell you the truth, it I was so like that was quite embarrassed bit. that someone would go so far as to. So so so, <sighs> Mr. Ellsworth, you're saying that Tristan was extremely interested in this satchel mm-hmm. of herbs. Yes. N- not a book or a piece of paper. So there was also, he like went rifling through the, the books on the shelf after, after all this. You said timeline, so I was doing it. In oh, I see. I, I apologize. He was okay, a, a madman. This is very him. interesting. So, so now we have a scrap of paper <laughs> and a satchel. Very handy. And this Mr. Wren <laughs> was extremely interested in acquiring the both of them. I, well, so I don't know if he was really interested in the satchel. He just like pulled it out and pointed it out. And then, like, sort of put it back, but then it ended up on the table. And then it, I guess, ended up in somebody's pocket or something. I don't know. That is most unusual. Huh. I must say that uh, these stories become increasingly curious as I hear them. I can't wait until I hear from... Do you, do you recall the other gentlemen that were here last night with you? Is this... This isn't about the the suit, is it? Why <laughs> 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 well, was suit as well, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, forget a totally different incident. Forget I said anything. What, no, what are you no, wearing no, right now? I'm is, just wearing my uh, normal, like, furry. sort of shabby, grease stained clothes. No, no, no detail is unimportant. I uh, I am deeply fascinated. Like, uh, so there was a scrap of paper, a satchel, and now there is a suit involved. Oh, the the other gentleman was just. Wearing a particularly sharp suit. I, what I other was, gentleman? There was, there was another gentleman. I don't know if anyone caught his name. I certainly didn't. <laughs> I say lying woodenly. So, so, and he now looks at the four of you. So, let me 
summarize what we have so far <laughs> from the four of you. It's great. Wonderful. That there were eight of you in the room, of which we Wait, have names really for seven eight? of you. One, two, three. And there is a four, mystery gentleman five, that no one seems to recall six, except seven. for existing in your narratives. I raise my hand. And that there was an altercation over perhaps a scrap of paper, a satchel of herbs, and a very nice suit. <laughs> I, Does that seem to agree with what you all remember at this point? Pa pardon me, officer. Um, the number eight. Are we counting the body in the number eight? No. <laughs> so it's Ni one, Nigel was in there. Two, three, four, oh, Klein. five. Klein. Why, don't, why Nigel, don't you interrogate the body? Right? <laughs> and Klein. I mean, the lady was, Azil was in here. Oh, and, and Thomas, moment. of course. Yes. Mm, ah. Tom, Tom. No, it, it makes Not sense. I, uh, it was a dreadful experience. I've never seen a body before. No, wait, that's one too many. Was Nigel there? Nigel Oak was there. Forth, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, Oakenforth? So there, okay, so there's Oakenforth, Tristan, Klein, and the six of us. So there, there's the four of you who are here in the room with me now. Mm -hmm. And then, and then there there's the client who could not come today. Right. The French American. The Frenchman who Frenchman? was here. He's oh, you, he knows, you got ushered out. Okay. Yes. He knows my Wait, name. The four of you, I'm not, I haven't arrived yet. Have no, I haven't arrived yet. No, you haven't. Okay. The you, the, it's these Wait, you weren't in the room. You weren't okay. in the room. You didn't get locked in the room with us. Yes. Well, no. she was okay. in the room for a lot of moments. Yes. Okay. That's that's why I misremembered. Take your feminine wild and get out. And and some nameless, mysterious gentleman that you all seem to agree was in here with you, but no one seems to know who he is, oh my God. and no one seems to be able to summon up his name or any association with him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you you can understand my confusion as to. Confusion? Well, that's downright suspicious, it is. 